Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful day today. The hey, sun is shining, but it's still cold. Yes, definitely. Feels good. Great. So I've been doing research on John Kerry, and he was diagnosed with prostate cancer. That was December of 2002. He got tested and he was cured. He went, his father, it was a hereditary. His father had it when he was 85. Explain to me more about this, about what your outlook is on the surgical route. Okay, first of all, he, he, he's, he, was in, he was in politics, and I think he was the Secretary of the State, right? Senator. Senator, right? And yes. also Secretary of the State, and what's the name, uh, Obama was, you know, was the President. Correct. Okay, so which year was he diagnosed with the prostate cancer? 2002. 2002. Bless his heart. See, he's living, and he, that is great. And he, he, as you say, he's went to robotic prostatectomy. Right. And that, that's, that's, so he feels that he's totally cured. Exactly. What? What? It may be possible, or whichever way he looks at, at least he's happy and he's still living. We yes. got 2002, now we got, uh, what you call that, at least 17, uh, 16 years. It's 2018. Yes. So we have to be thankful. But the question is, that did he really need that surgery or not? That is the whole concept is because the question is was he really engulfed into it or trapped into it because of the insurance or because of other situation that's the way I feel to be honest with you because I think because we are totally conditioned and the mind is anxiety the mind is the problem and that's how it happened anyhow at least we should be thankful that he's living yeah. and God bless namaste amen, amen.